start spreading your money across institutions, right? So that at least that way, you're FDIC insured across multiple banks. Happening and because you're fully insured no matter what the amount is if you're in a big bank. You're not fully insured if you're in a community bank. Well, you're not fully insured. What's up, you guys? Welcome to the Wall Street Vibe, where we're giving you the vibe of the markets. So if you like content like this, videos like this, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Oh, don't forget to share it. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, here is one interesting thing that is going on behind the scenes. Most people are probably being distracted by bank failures, the market crashing, and things of that nature. But this has a lot to do with it, right? Now, the president said that everybody, all depositors of the Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank, they are all going to be okay. All of their money is going to be guaranteed, not just the $250,000 that's insured by the FDIC. Now, on Thursday, Janet Yellen gave her testimony to the Senate Finance Committee, and here was what she said. Our banking system remains sound and Americans can feel confident that their deposits will be there when they need them. Our judgment is that the banking system overall is safe and sound. Um, depositors should have confidence in the system. Okay, so she said that in a testimony before the Senate Finance Committee. Now, here is kind of like the contradicting part where... You know, she was under questioning and uh, the article goes on to states, Yellen admitted that not all depositors will be protected over the FDIC insurance limits of $250,000 per account as they did for the customers of the two failed banks, which is Signature and Silicon Valley Bank, as we both, as we all know. So if you guys don't know, U.S. bank regulators basically announced plans uh, last Sunday as these banks were collapsing that... Um, they will fully insure depositors uh, of the two failed banks, uh, including those above the $250,000 uh, limit that is covered by the FDIC insurance, okay? Um, the additional protection was paid out by a special fund um, made up of fees levied by the FDIC insured uh, institutions, so pretty much like all the banks. Now, here is one important question that was asked by uh, Republican Senator James Lankford of Oklahoma. Will the deposits in every community bank in Oklahoma, regardless of their size, be fully insured now? Are they fully recovered? Every bank, every community bank in Oklahoma, regardless of the size of the deposit, will they get the same treatment that SVBP just got or Signature Bank just got? And good old Janet Yellen said, Bank only gets that treatment if a majority of the FDIC board, a supermajority, a supermajority of the Fed board, and I, in consultation with the president, determine that the failure to protect uninsured depositors would create systemic risk and significant economic and financial consequences. Then Langford said that the impact of the standard uh, would be that small banks would be less appealing to depositors with more than $250,000, um, the current FDIC insurance threshold. So, so what is your plan to keep large depositors from moving their funds out of community banks into the big banks? We have seen the mergers of banks over the past decade. I'm concerned you're about to accelerate that by encouraging anyone who has a large deposit in a community bank to say, we're not going to make you whole, but if you go to one of our preferred banks, we will make you whole at that point. Now, guys, with everything that is going on right now, with what they are building this story up to be, um, the financial crisis is here, the banking crisis is here, um, does this give you confidence in the banking system? And do you feel confident that if you have over $250,000 in your bank, are you going to try to move your money? So that means... If you're in Oklahoma, if you're in any other state, you're likely not going to get the same treatment that the depositors from Signature Bank or SVB, Silicon Valley Bank, 
just got. So if you have $10 million, guess what? You get a nice 250000 right? Never mind the other 9750000 that you that you have, right? Because that's going to disappear and then you're kind of screwed. I honestly would think it'd be wise if you have anything over 250000 Start spreading your money across institutions, right? So that at least that way you're FDIC insured across multiple banks, not just one bank where the likelihood of you not getting your money back or it taking longer. I mean, just imagine if you have bills to pay, imagine the ripple effect that something like this is going to cause throughout the entire economy, right? Um, people are going to lose jobs. People are going to lose homes. People may lose cars. Um, people may not even be able to buy groceries, feed their families. Uh, we are looking at extremely difficult times coming, and I'd like to know your thoughts on this. Um, is this does this give you any more confidence in the banking system? Do you feel like the way that the U.S. government is handling the situation is appropriate or do you think they're doing enough or not doing enough let me know down in the comments below guys and that's going to do it for today's video if you guys like content just like this be sure to subscribe down below again my name is flash share the video peace